Hello everyone, I'm Grey Cloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode one, no, 222 of Factorio with the C-Block mod, where we are working towards commercial AI implementation for the next Purple Science while we wait for Coverex and Richmond to be done. We got this Purple Science done, but I don't really feel like researching anything from it. All of these faster machines really just seems like a luxury at this point, which I don't really need. Batteries we will use at some point, but I haven't even made battery twos yet, so we're not really yet there yet. And this I'm sure will be very necessary at some point. But until we need it. I have other priorities, I guess. And yeah, just nice things, I guess. So we want to work towards the other purple signs because that will lead us into a new age, a robot age with requested chests. And we already have robots, so we don't really care about faster robots, as long as we can request stuff. Okay, so that's the plan. And we haven't even started yet. I did talk briefly about putting in all of these on their own belts, but producing them all in a row here. Hey. So let's just start from the bottom, I guess. Something like that. We need two different types of resources in here. And then... So I wanted these on different builds. But I don't think that makes a lot of sense. We should put titanium gear wheels and these together. And then those two together, because they are used together. So just having these on two boats. That seems good. Good. And we just need a shared belt of cobalt and titanium. Did I not make a blueprint for these underground belts at some point? I did. It's just not very long. I would like this to be longer. How about we just do that? That's when we need to get all the way out here. It's just annoying, I guess. One of them comes from here. And the other from down here. Good. And that should just work. We have a lot of output here. 24 per second with a grappling speed of 2, so 48 per second. That should probably be optimized as much as possible, though, well, we don't really need a lot. Could still do something like that, though. Hey, that isn't where I wanted that one. A 
And you have to go on the outside. Dang it. Okay. No oh, wait, what? You go on the inside, sure. I feel like switching these two around just to have them in the same order as these two with bearing at the bottom. But it doesn't matter, so let's not. So that's four of our ingredients done. With these two parts. This is for later, yes. So how about we just get these two done now that we have already done some for it. Sounds good to me. These two on another belt, along with those two. And for this, those two on a belt, and then some lubricant. It is just one machine, but I guess we're okay with just spending a lot of space here, or using, taking up a lot of space. So these automated storage. Which ones do you need? The purple gear wheel. So I needed another, just one more belt in. I guess we'll just get that in here. Something like that. And then we need brass, which is this one, right? And blue circuits. Good, and that outputs one of the things we need here. And I don't care too much about outputting yet, so I'm not gonna power that. And then we need a bunch of stuff for this. And we need to merge those together in another machine for this. So how about we try and get these onto the same belt. Get our inputs in here. And we need lubricant here, but since it's such a small build, we should just put the input there, I guess, because it's easier for me. That's the main reason. So we need aluminium and red circuits. Aluminium is right here, and I guess we won't do anything too fancy here. Just do as usual. Could have gone out and in, but... That's not. And of course we have so few red circuits at the moment, but we'll make do, I guess. Is that right? I guess so. It just seems shorter, but that just be my perception. So I wanted to move this down at some point here. Maybe that time is now. 
Though it doesn't really matter when we don't get anything out from our production here. Because anything we get from resource production will have to go across all of this anyway. We might have to do some reordering at some point. Or we just go under all of these pipes. That's also a possibility. We will see. So for now we're just gonna expand this. And we need lubricant. And we will not have coverage of that. No. Good. So all of this needs to be combined into another thing. And I probably could have made this in a better way, but... How about we just put that other thing here and output directly? Find cargo kit. Do we need a lot of stuff in here? A lot more than we can currently do at least and that of course needs to go out somewhere and onwards Good. Then we need these ones. And again, it's just single machines doing everything. Hmm. We could have just bootstrapped all of this and then waited until we had robots to make more, but oh well. I am going to do it anyway. This goes into this, this goes into this. Build it. Oh wait, we need another step here. Power cable. And this is the stuff. Cover and gold. These things and integrated electronics. should work I think and I have just completely ignored everything that I have spent a hundred episodes on with trying to make everything pretty and stuff currently I just want to progress really So this should merge with this. Okay, let's get some stuff in. I also feel like we should get the belt 
nullify a thing, so I'm not moved by belts because that's starting to, starting to annoy me. Belt immune thing. Can already do that. Okay. Red circuits. And we should also start working on Robocorps, I think, but for now, I'm just going to put that there. And just have a look at Robocorps anyway, I guess. So we need stuff that we have already. No, let's focus, 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 focus. We need gold cover on this one. Cover is nearby. Let's keep to that bit. It's probably more than enough. And then we need integrated electronics and solder. I think Sada is pretty close, right? Yes, right here. Let's just bring that manually then. Is this right? Yes, it is. Okay. And then integrated electronics right here. I'm not sure why I'm not using my blueprint for this anymore, but now it's done anyway. Come on. Do we have any? Yes. And we just need to put that into four normal assembly machines. And then we should have this science type. Awesome. And that's supposed to go in here. Well, that's pretty simple. Except I need belt. Are we lacking red circuits now? Yep. As expected. And just out of curiosity, do we have any shortages? Or is it just production speed? All is full, it seems. So we might not get enough aluminium to the top. 
that does indeed look to be the case, so maybe we just upgrade some of this. Oops. Because now we can actually take a full yellow belt here. Not sure if that's what we need, but who knows. It'll just speed it up for a bit. Yeah, I'm getting annoyed with the robots. I said it when I put the logistic robots in that I think I would just spend too much time standing around waiting for them, but yeah, that's always the case, it seems. Uh, I need to finish this. That should take it all the way. Oh, poor robots. Are they... Is that my stuff they're flying around with? Why are they trying to store it up there? Is it going to these chests? I hope not. What, do we have any storage chests up here? No. Where are they going? Now they just need to charge, I guess. Oh well. They're still going in this direction. Oh, here? No? Steel chest. Well, they've collected the chests here now, so there should be any more here. I guess we'll find out at some point in the future. Who knows? Okay, this is done. Awesome. I guess what we're really waiting for in general is just red circuits. So we can duplicate this setup if we want to. Uh, but we are probably gonna have general shortages of resources then. Like we already have with cover here. So maybe it's time to just start working on better resource production. Instead of new resource or new more advanced resource production, I mean. Because this is going to take a while anyway. We could also switch researchers, let it build up some of the purple stuff. But right now they're just competing about the red circuits, so we should probably cut one of them off. To let the other one run faster. Hmm. Should we try to make a new design for resource production? Basic resource production in this case, like iron, copper. Yes, lead as well. Or should we work on personal robot stuff? I sort of want to see how fast personal robots feels compared to nanobots. If it isn't faster or feel almost as good, then I am not going to switch. But maybe it feels good. 
at least when we tear down large production facilities like this, it feels like the nanobots are just so slow. But it might just be because there's so much uh, build and structures in general. Mm. So I'm looking for all the robot stuff. Which is over here. Those, some of these, some of these. And the hard part is actually getting any of it. Well, I can only use two anyway at the moment, so let's reduce it a little bit. Tier 2 robot stuff. It is stuff that we have, but it would be so much easier to do with robots again. We might also just not have enough battery capacity for this, or power production in general. But we shall see. So it's only 10 robots for each of these, so 20 robots in total. That's not gonna tear down factories of any kind, I don't think. Just do a test, see how it feels. Also, the range is pretty dang bad. Yeah, this is in no way better. And I guess that's why I'm not really wanting to rely on all of the construction robots in the system, because they are just slow as well. Mm. So I don't feel like tearing down a lot of stuff. What are these guys still... Working on. Is it just because they run out of power or something? And come back? Get back here. Should we try the next tier of Roboports? If we could get up to 50 robots, it would be a lot better. Also, how much science would we need to actually get logistics or request chests? I am probably already past that. One hundred of each. Plus 75 of this new one, plus 30 of the new one. So still a lot less than we need for this. Are we going to switch then? Can aluminium keep up? So far it seems okay. We could also upgrade a lot of the belts. That would be needed for a new... Well, for greater production anyway. But I would just like to see this aluminium. Have we really only play or planned this for a yellow belt? I 
Uh, so few of these are outputting, I don't believe that. One of these can output four every four seconds. So the craft is speed of 1.5, so 1.5 per second. I30 is 45 per second. So more than this belt can carry, even as red. Uh, whoops, that's not good. Mm. Ah, that won't do. We need to cut this somehow, or just put it. That's not good either. <laughs> I need to filter out the trees that I just put on here. And so I thought of a filter inserter. Which I guess makes sense. And still doesn't get everything, of course. It doesn't. We'll just sit here and wait for some extra trees. Hopefully we would have gotten it by now. Maybe not though, because we're not working on red undergrounds. Oh, I'm missing red undergrounds. Great. Give me everything, take all of the yellow ones back. Ah, that's way too many for me actually. Split us, that is. I'm clicking all the wrong things. Oh, yeah. I have enough to upgrade some stuff then. Aluminium needs to go back into red circuit production. Which is here. Just want to see if we have any trees, but we don't. So after this, what will our next, next shortage be? Probably cover. I guess we should just have a look at new production for it. Just go through all of our production here, actually upgrade it, if possible. Does that sound terrible? Um, well, it does, but it would be better if we had logistic robots though, to make us all of this stuff. Guess we can't do this yet, but still the tier two one. Also faster robots. So I guess this is the way for us to go for now. Hopefully we have a good amount of these stored up.
Okay, so we will work on some new production. And we will start utilizing higher tier of the machines, I guess. Maybe we will start lacking resources to produce those machines, but who knows. Why can't I see the recipes in here? That's a little annoying. Just want to see if it's reasonable for us to use thousands of these. It is not, I don't think, not with those processing units. Should we do it anyway? Titanium processing units, reinforced concrete, and electrolyzer threes. It's not too bad, I don't think. We can also just save this build for the future, if we just decide it now. We actually have these. I must, since I saw it in here, right? Yes. Okay. So, the good old cracking of water, unless we have better ways to do this now. Just out of curiosity, let's have a look at making some sapphire ore. We can only... I think we're going to only get that out of this. Am I wrong? Is that for right? You can also get it out of mineralized water, which is what we did at the start, but I do not believe this is a better recipe. 200 mineralized water for a little more than one sapphire ore. And 70% of a stereotype. Just out of curiosity, how if we wanted 60 of these two red belts. That's a lot of this stuff. And that's a lot of crushed stone. And that's a lot of slag. Uh, from here. That's a lot of machines, so that is not the way to go for sure. So maybe we have a good way of making mineral sludge now. Slag slurry, slag slurry, crystal slurry. So maybe it is more efficient to use well, crystal slurry from geodes. I think that requires sulfuric acid though, so we will keep using charcoal filters, I think. To keep our sulfuric acid up. Hopefully. We also need mineralized water for this snow. Why does this number seem larger than it was before? Or maybe I'm wrong about that. I am wrong about that. It's not 1100 anymore, it's only 400. And then we haven't even made this yet. So note that one. And the other one doesn't really make a difference, right? No, it's actually more mineralized water to every s mineral sludge since it's 100 to 35 as opposed to 100 to 50. So nope. This is still the way to go. Can we make this in some other way? Slag, stone. Five slag is how much crushed stone? One to two. So that's 300 slag per second. This is 150. So better. And we need sulfuric acid. That's fine. We get more of this out still. Okay. So we just need to see the numbers, I guess. 
we will keep doing what we have been doing all game unless we want to do this two seconds as opposed to four seconds an electrolyzer thingy can be cleaned with what oh cleaned in this stuff with purified water I'm so confused. Why is it scaling up to this? Oh, because we want the water for this. Okay. That's stupid. Do we have a normal offshore pump number in here? It's not right. Oh, I guess this is the actual recipe, not what it outputs. This is the one I want. Matrix. That is a lot of purified water though, so... And it's a lot of cleaning, holy Christ. This is just to clean the... Cathodes... Electrodes, sorry. And then we need purified water. So 80 of those, 60 of those. It's 140 machines. Or we could just do this. And it is 200 more of these. But the simplicity of it is so much better. So yeah, this will still be the way. Now 400 of this is just not feasible, I don't think. Oh, reasonable, I guess. Feasible. Mm. So we need to at least cut it into two, and we need to use these. Which does reduce it significantly. How many are we currently using in our longer builds? 50. How about something more modern? 50. That makes sense because it's the same machines. So all of the things should have 50. Yes. So us doing 240 is still not very reasonable. So our current setups are outputting 7.5 and okay this is a high increase from that. I guess we could increase that 50 machines to 60. But then everything else is also in larger numbers. I just want to check that we can make the other machines as well. We can do this. We can do this, and we can do this, so we can make all of them. Oh, next, research. We're getting close, but we are basically out of science. So this. Upgrade all of those. And I'm just going to compare those numbers to if we did it by... Well, if we just did 7.5, because... I want to see the amount of numbers... Oh, the, the number of machines. 7.5. From this. That's not really very interesting. 
Uh, what am I doing? This. So 50 to 120. Sixty to fifty. Six to five. We already did six of those. Fourteen to ten. Twenty-seven or twenty-eight to twenty. It is going to be longer, but I want to see it designed anyway. So we will need two red belts for this stuff. We will need Good pipe management of this stuff. This is easy, this is easy. Oh, we still need to make this. But we make it out of the hydrogen and oxygen. We also still need to make this. Or should we just export all of the sulfuric water and then import this? Which we... Well, we're not importing this, but we are exporting this already. It means that our pipes will be much more overflowing with this stuff in general. So we would need more facilities to make this. I'm gonna try everything without this part of the process, see how it looks. And then we can redecide afterwards. I should really pin that though. This is all very much the same. Something like this. And the outputs just go from there to there or something. And go like that. So we need 30 of these. And this power won't, won't reach. Unless we do upgraded power poles, but I don't think I care enough to do that. 14. 27. That's not right. We can't do it like that. I do need to go here. Twenty-eight and add two more. So that pipe is all as it should be. Good. Now these water pipes probably going to be overutilized. I don't think we can actually get enough water through those. This only makes 1200 per second. Can try and do two and pump it through, I guess. An actual pump can throughput a lot more than that offshore pump can, so that is a possibility. That's 4800 per second. We just need to offshore pump it into a storage tank or something that we can pump it out of them for full throughput. But I guess that's okay. Can't we just start using these? I guess this can go all the way in here if we need it to. Now the inputs for this. If we want to at some point have another setup up here, right up against it, then we can't input into all of these. Oops. 
offshore pump, please. Can I make water? Explosive excavation. Again. I actually didn't believe that was going to work. So if we landfill this, is it just going back to the grey stuff? Or is it turning into sand? Eh, where is sand stuff again? This is concrete. In here, okay. Does turn into sand, okay. And we can't remove that. Hmm. Is there a utility to remove stuff? Or oh, is my pocket dimension just scarred forever now? Who knows? In any case, we can't. Offshore pump, please. Where are the offshore pumps? I'm blind. Wait, where are they? They're right there. I'm just very blind. So yeah, we can't put into both of those. And I'm blind again. Now this is 3600, which is not enough to view both sides of this, since we need 3750. We could top up with groundwater boss, but if possible I would like to avoid that. It's just not possible to... Well, we could, of course, do this. Is that something we want to do? It's going to take more work setting this up. Manual work, that is. We can't just ask the robots to do this, I don't think. It can't be part of the blueprint. Which sucks. And we can't, you know, this. God dang. Oh. Now we need land. A simple solution would be this, but as soon as you add these pipes here, you will not get full throughput through the uh, pumps anymore. Unless we... The small one tile storage tanks, are they able to output at a 90 degree angle or something? Or are they only straight and... Oh! So that should work. I think. That just means we need to create a lot more of these, but that's okay. So far I like this. Oh, also we need... No, this is... Oh yeah, so I did this just to... Because it's actually the intersection between builds that is going to be a problem, not... Uh, the build itself. But I need to... I just want these repaired. 
That's such a nice me. Good. Okay. The actual other side is supposed to be down here, of course. Are we going to do an uneven amount of titles this time? Nah, I don't think so. Not yet, at least. This is all good. We do need these to be balanced, though, right? Because one side can only take 15 and we need more than 30. 30 in total. Yep. Hey, why did I offset these? Okay. How much of this stuff do we have? We need to still be able to player stack that. And I'm sure we can figure that out. Let's just remove this water. I am going to wait with figuring that out until... Uh, I have everything else done though. At least for this part. Also, this is obviously not done. Fine. I do not want to put down more water <laughs> when it actually messes up my dimension here. Yeah. Let's just take another two of those out there. And make sure that we are balanced. And then this will be the thing I use to run down through here. Any chance that I can just pull this? Nope. If I just pulled that, we would mess up our inserter settings. So we are not going to do that. This should be fine, though. I wonder if it would be better if we actually had the liquid outputs on the outside and the water on the inside. It wouldn't get rid of this problem with the throughput, but it could maybe fix other things. Also, we actually wider on this because everything else needs to be wider anyway. This needs to be used on the outside, but the products of these also needs to be used on the outside. So it's really just a well, mix up. Advanced logis logistics are done and we can move towards the final thing here. At least the final thing for now. Hmm. So I guess this will have to come apart. But if it comes apart, we can do everything without these. Let's just say this is the middle instead. And we have two tiles of space in between, because that's space that we actually have. And this is possible, and this is possible if we... No, I'm not gonna scar that. Or put down more water. That is what we're going to do. We still want these on the inside, right? It's actually a little difficult here, but I think yes.
inside us and red underground. So I guess this means we can actually make it a little bit more symmetric. At least if we push these in. Then we can do something like this. And this. Bottom. Top. would like these to be as long as possible, but it doesn't really, really make a difference when we need to go up here anyway. Unless we use three underground or, or overground tiles, then. which means more work for the robots, which is why I don't want to do it. Power poles. This is much easier to just place them again with the blueprint. That right now, it does need to be here or here. I'm just gonna skip that last bit there because there's none underground as part of that. Okay. That should work. And then we need to figure out these, of course, and that's fine. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.